Hello Virgo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah, see, you know what they showed me when I, <laughs> sorry, I got kind of quiet there, but they were showing me like a wilted flower and all the petals falling off. You know, it's kind of giving me the vibes of, um, What's that movie? Beauty and the Beast, right? Um, that, uh, you know, this person had to learn how to love and be loved in return before the last petal fell, right? And I feel like they've missed their shot. Um, they've missed the, uh, in order to break whatever curse they were in, they were supposed to make this right with you. They were supposed to learn some lessons about love and they didn't. It's just giving me that vibe, okay? Uh, yeah, they're realizing here, um, they're realizing they're out in the cold. They, they had a chance at happiness with you. This is kind of like this person just, you know, accepting now. But all they did was fight with you, possibly rally people to go against you, turn their back on you, betray you. This person could have spread a bunch of lies. They thought it was funny that they had you in the Two of Swords. I mean, I'm just seeing them snickering and laughing about it, that they had you in no communication. I kind of get the sense they really wanted you to struggle with this, okay? They wanted to put you in, and not only did they throw you to the wolves here, they wanted to put you in, um, like, chaotic energy, right? They wanted to put you into a battle with other people or something. And then, because uh, they keep looking back at this Two of Swords, laughing that they're not talking to you, okay? Laughing that they're not communicating with you. And now they're realizing they did all of this to an Earth Angel. You could be, yep, and they're getting their karma for that. Ooh! I, you know, there's a part of this person that thinks that you are their karma. And, you know, I have to agree with them. I feel like you are their karma. This person could also be like a shapeshifter. I'm getting shapeshifter kind of energy off of them. Like one minute, maybe to the community, they pretend to be sweet like an angel. And then the next minute, they they like morph into this... Um, I don't know, man. I, I, I just feel like this person has like a, like a split personality or something. Yeah, as I say that, I get the two of pentacles out. One minute, they, they on, on one hand, they try to um, make people believe maybe that, um, that they're, you're the one who, who broke their heart. Okay, this is your far fault that they're heartbroken. You know, they threw you to the wolves, and I feel like you did nothing to this person. You're in this earth angel energy. You know, you didn't do anything. I feel like you were innocent in this. You didn't do anything to harm them, but they, they portrayed this as you broke their heart, like you did something to harm them. And so they rallied other people against you, okay? On one hand, they're trying to get people to believe that they're, you know, they did no wrong. But that in reality, I feel like this person, um, they're kind of, they're like karmic energy, okay? It feels like a, like a karmic, really. So I feel like they want people to feel bad for them, thinking, you know, they want people to think this is your fault, that they're heartbroken, that you betrayed them somehow. But in all actuality, they did this to you. And they're laughing, they're kind of, they were laughing about it behind the scenes, watching people tear into you, right? Um, yeah, they're the ones who walked away from you. This person, like, ghosted you. They're getting their karma for all of this. I feel like karma is dancing right on top of them. I feel like their their wheel is stuck. So they're not getting any new opportunities with you. Nothing. It's like everything is kind of halted for this person. 
And if they want to walk away from other people and come towards you, I don't think spirit's going to allow that to happen. I feel like this is your spirit guide. Every, every time I see this depiction of the Page of Swords these days, it feels like spirit guides to me. Like they know this person wants to come back around. They know they want to come in or continue their games with you. Um, continue to do whatever it is that they're doing. Spirit is standing at this door. It, it, if you see this, I'm seeing this door, this Wheel of Fortune as a giant metal vault door. That's kind of opening up. It looks like a contraption, doesn't it? You know, um, it's the beginning of a cycle and the universe is aligning things and opening doors and closing doors. That's kind of what the feeling that this is giving me. And your person is down here at the bottom of the wheel, hanging on for dear life. You're up here in the top of the wheel. I feel like an emperor, empress kind of energy, okay? Um, earth angel energy. So as this door is spinning around and starting to close and a new portal is opening up here for you, um, your spirit guides are standing at the opening of this door to make sure that this person from your past doesn't come back in. So spirit is blocking them from coming back in. Okay, because they know all they've, because they know, spirit knows, yeah, here they come. Because spirit knows there's nothing in that cup. It's an empty cup. They're coming in with empty promises. They're coming in to schmooze you. They're coming in to restart this game, okay, that they're playing. They can't come back in. They are completely out in the cold, okay? And your spirit guides are guarding that, that entrance way. Yeah, they may just want one thing. Okay, they may just be coming back in, maybe wanting to share passion, use you, take advantage of you, and leave. And then continue to tell everybody that it's your fault. They have to carry their own burdens. They're at the Ten of Wands now. Yeah, this, this cycle is closed. Um, world card in reverse. I feel like this person, there's no way they can come back in. This, this is a cycle that's closed, and I feel like it's being um, nullified, okay? If this was a soulmate, a past life soulmate connection, it, this, this tie is being severed. And this person's going to have to carry their own burdens. They're going to have to confront the things that they've done. They're going to have to be honest, Okay, there may be a lot of gossip going on about this as well, but they're not getting back in that door. I'm telling you, they're not. Consider this Page of Swords as one of your spirit guides or an ancestor. Okay? They're protecting this earth angel. They're protecting you from this person. Because they've got nothing but bad intentions for you. Yes, you're, and spirits like, look, the, um, I feel like you're a divine feminine, okay? Divine feminine is having a new start. You're working on a new project. You're growing a money tree. Um, you are. You could be very creative. You could be a painter or um, you could be doing something artistic. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. You're creating a money tree. You're focused here with the Eight of Pentacles in the middle of your work, okay? And it's about to pay off for you. And I feel like maybe this person from your past knows that. Like it's something you do for work. You're very abundant. You're very stable. You're very peaceful, calm. You're enjoying your time here, okay? Um, yeah, and they want to come in and take advantage of what it is that you're growing, but they're not going to give you anything. And the apology that this person has is a lame apology. Like, it's fake. They don't, yeah. And Spirit's telling you, you know what? Don't accept this cup of love. Spirit's trying to warn you here about this person. Don't accept this cup of love. Or don't accept their cup. If it's handed to you, Spirit, you've got your headset on. You're not budging. 
You're not looking at them. You're not speaking. This is hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Stay away from this person. So Spirit's trying to give you a warning. I honestly, I don't, yeah, because they're under judgment. I don't think this person can come back in because they're a manipulator. They're trying to manipulate you. They're being watched very closely, okay? Because Spirit knows they're lingering around this doorway. They want to be with you because they know that you're building some kind of abundance here. And it's about to pay off. And they can see that. They can see that you're, you've healed from them. I feel like you've gotten over them. And they're getting their karma, right? This is coming to an end. Um... Yeah, so they're going to try to sneak back in, but I feel like they're going to be stopped. All right, so what can you show me? You could be dealing with a Leo, a Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe a Virgo. You could be a Sagittarius, a Leo. I'm feeling Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Um, I don't know why that is, but possibly a Scorpio. And as soon as I say that, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Queen of Swords energy. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, they confirmed that right away. Um, yeah, I feel like um, Spirit just, look, this is somebody who's betrayed you. They never gave you the truth. I don't think they plan on being honest with you anyway. I don't think they're being honest with anybody. Okay? This is somebody, too, who just wants people to feel sorry for them. So they're talking to a lot of other people about you and putting the blame on, on you. Yeah, spirits like block this person now. Yep. They cannot come back in. Spirit's clearly given you a warning. But yeah, this is somebody who's betrayed you in the past and they'll do it again. You could be a Gemini, a Libra. Yeah, I feel like this person, oh man, they're about to get some karma. I'm, I'm really, I feel like they're angry, they're upset, they are feeling heartbroken, and they want people to feel bad for them, but I feel like they're getting, I feel like this is your uh, spirit guides coming in to give this person their karma. Justice, because they are under judgment. Judgment, justice, they can't come back in, they're getting upset about that. They're upset that you may have them blocked as well. Telling you, if they even so much as try, they're wondering who you're giving your love to, who are you giving to as you move on. Spirit's trying to get you um, to calmer waters. You know, you could be even being shown some things about this person in your dreams, um, visions, you could be hearing things that they're saying about you as well. I feel like you're very intuitive and you're picking up on all of that. Because Spirit wants you to know. They're warning you about this person. Okay? And this person is still kind of on your mind. Because these swords here, they're all around you. Okay, they need, these swords should be behind you in this boat. So I feel like you are picking up on their energy. Um, you are feeling them thinking about you, okay? It could be making you feel a bit stressed out. Let's see how they feel. How is this person feeling? But they're being watched. They're being, every move they make is, is being watched while your spirit guide is um, manning that door, okay? Guarding that door so that they can't come back in. They may want to message you, but I feel like spirit is guiding you to block this person. Yeah, see, you're getting your wishes fulfilled, and they're irritated by this because they can't 
they can't abuse what you've got. They can't take advantage of you now. Okay? Now, see, they put you out in the cold. They did all of this to you. They left you in no communication. Uh, and they laughed about it. They had you take the blame. Now you're out here, like I said, very abundant, very stable, very independent, making good money. Your money looks good. Whatever you do for work, it's fabulous. It's really paying off. And this is, has them irritated that they can't come back in. Okay? They're, they're annoyed. They're aggravated. They're upset. They keep watching you. They're fascinated and um, they're amazed at everything that you're accomplishing here. They're amazed at how, um, how quickly your abundance is growing. Okay, and your success. So this person is watching you, and the more they see, the more irritated they get because they, they screwed themselves over, okay, when they hurt you. Yeah, this person is like, they're, they're kicking rocks. They're kind of like, ah, uh, I missed out. They're falling into kind of a depression here. And they're around other low-vibing individuals that could be gossiping about you or them. Feel like people get around this person, all they want to do is gossip. Yeah. They're saying a prayer. They're, they may be feeling very panicky, but they're praying, I'm hearing again, I only talk to God when I need a favor. Yeah. Um, they may even reach out to you and ask, but, or at least try to reach out and ask for some financial help. They want to get their hands on your money, basically. They want to get your, their hands on your money, and they, they want to come in and um, share some passion with you, but this person doesn't plan on sticking around. Um, I feel like they're just a, they're, they're an opportunist that missed their shot at um, a very abundant person, okay, and they can't stand it. And they're asking for divine intervention in this. Divine's intervening. Yeah, sure, spirit's intervening, and they're saying, well, you're the one that we're going to put an, a stop to. You know, we're going to intervene. You can't come back in. We know what it is that you want from the collective, from our earth angel, and you can't come back in. And there's the, did I not mention, oh my gosh, thank you, spirit, and this is how they're feeling. Did I not, didn't I say something about that I saw a flower, they were showing me a flower, that's all kinds of wilty, and the petals are falling off. What did I say? Yeah. I feel like this is somebody who hasn't learned anything, though. You know, um, in the movie Beauty and the Beast, that's what I'm referencing. Beauty and the Beast, they, that person needed to learn how to love and be loved in return um, by the time the last petal fell, right? I feel like it's too late now. This person didn't do their work. They didn't learn their lessons when it came to love. They're still seeing you. They're more attracted to your bling than they are what's in your heart, okay? So since you're an earth angel with a heart of gold, and they don't even, they don't find any worth in that. Spirit's not allowing this person to come back in now because the only thing they see of value with you is your pentacles, is your money and your success. And they, they needed to recognize the value of your heart, the value of the love that you have to offer this person. They can't come back in now. I'm telling you, there's that wilty flower. This person knows it. They've lost out. They didn't learn their lessons in time. They didn't do the work in order to be with you. And if, if all they're going to favor is your, uh, your money and your success and not give a crap about your heart, 
Spirit's not going to let this person anywhere near you. So, yeah, this is a warning for somebody to stay away from this person. Spirit doesn't want this person around you. Let's see what they have to say. What, is, what does this person have to say to my beautiful collective? I am learning a spiritual, but I am learning a spiritual lesson. Yeah, they are now. Now they're, they may start to realize all that they lost here by not respecting your love, not thinking that it was anything of value, right? But now it's too late. The Spirit is moving you forward. This is the divine guiding this boat. This is spirit, a spirit guide, your ancestors. They're the ones guiding this boat. They're getting you to calmer waters. I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? Remember what I said, this person, they were laughing at the time because they were withholding any kind of communication from you on purpose. And they were laughing about it. Now they want to come in and talk. Okay, I hope our paths will cross again in the future. You are so beautiful inside and out. Yeah, I feel like you're saying we need to let each other go. That's what you're being led to do. You're being led to release and move forward, okay? And you're listening to the divine. This isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. I do love you. Just don't know how to show you right now. Yeah, see, they know this is over. They know. They can feel you disconnecting. They can feel you letting them go. They're literally watching you do it. If, if you have this person on, like, if, they're, if you're on social media, this person is watching you. Whether you have them blocked or not, they're probably under a fake profile. But I know that they're watching you. The thought of you drives me crazy. I sabotage this connection and I regret it. Oh boy, do they regret this. Yeah, but only because they missed out on a lot of abundance and, and success. They, they, I feel like they still don't understand love. They don't know what it is. They don't know how valuable it is. And until they find that out, until they learn that, they are not allowed near an earth angel. Joel.